Welcome back to the African Safari. Right now we can't see any animals. We're just listening to the nature around us. Isn't it amazing? What's up YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero and welcome to episode number nine of our Pokemon Legends of the Arena Demo Explorer. Last time we took on the Maple Town Tournament, defeating it even after getting hacked and made our way here into the Flooded Cave. Today we're going to be continuing through the Flooded Cave, figuring out who this boss is. Uh, which I honestly truly don't remember at all who it is or what it is or anything like that. And then continuing on from there. So I do hope you wind up enjoying today's episode. Sit back and relax. Now before we jump in, I have a question. I have a question. I forgot it, so now I'm stalling. But I have a question. Oh, let's be situationally aware. I want to know, out of all of the Pokemon games, out of all of them, there are so many of them, what is your favorite cave that you've been through? Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. There's been some amazing caves. I mean, let's just name a few. You have Mount Moon. You have Rock Tunnel. You have Seafoam Islands. You have uh, Dark Cave. You have... Mount Mortar, you have Mount Silver, you have Diglett's Tunnel, you have, hold on, hold on, hold on, I gotta go to another region real quick. Duford Cave, Bird and Turf Tunnel, let me know what your favorite cave is in the comments down below. Let's get straight to it. Now, I didn't go back and heal. Is that going to wind up? Oh, that's definitely going to wind up biting me in the butt. Because they're going to charge me like $6 billion to heal my Pokemon here in a second. It's not quite how I envisioned it. I, those involved are competent enough, but I expected more. What are those voices? Where are those voices coming from? I wonder. I have a feeling if we... You think they end up to the job that they might get caught? I feel like if we just continue on this path, we will undoubtedly find out. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Rock smash. Can't go that way. I have a plan, Jeremy. Just give it time. I shall inject life into it soon enough. But come, unsanitary ears may be listening. Whatever you say, boss. Who the heck were they? Cool. I just love when it... Oh, I hate you. I told you. I told you it was going to do this, man. 3,000. I'll be back momentarily. So my first thought as I ran away was, oh, I can use teleport. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same questions. You look like a troublemaker. I don't like troublemakers. So I was like, I can just teleport to get where I'm going. Duh, I can just teleport. Why can't you use teleport indoors? I don't know. I wish I knew. Don't kill me. Also gave Liger some, some battles. Haunt a haunt haunt. Haunt a. Hunter's gonna be strong. Oh, I'm gonna go Mozilla, because I really have. Kind of neglected Mozilla because it's. Oh! Mozilla's not confused. Mozilla! Go! Thank you! Yo, 
Ninja! Good job, Mozilla. Crud. Uh-oh, I better go find the boss. Just stay out of our way, you hear? Ah, I don't hear. Do you enunciate the next time you speak? You hear. Do you, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? To which I will respond and say, Man, no one understands the words that are coming out of your mouth. Let me know if you get that reference. If you don't get that reference, you're too young. There, there might have been another part of that sentence, but it's not important. All you need to know is that if you don't get that reference, you're too young. Hey! Hey! Oh, sorry. I had my iPod, iPod on. Okay, did you know that Legends of the Arena was is based off of 2003? Because this boy still has an iPod. iPods haven't been a thing since 2008-ish, once people realized that iPhones were the way to go. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> really? Oh, geez, that must be my supervisor. I bet he's mad. Sorry, boss, I should have reported it or something. Yes, you should have. Honestly, listening to your iPod. So, can we come through here now? I suppose. I suppose, but just your group. This cave is still closed, so I don't want anyone else in here. What about those two guys who were in here earlier? What two guys? Were they members of the construction crew? No, no. At least I don't think they were. One wore a suit. The other one battled me when I ran into him. Really? Why would he do that? I don't know. I didn't really stop him. He had a gold bat, a haunter. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say a haunter? Uh, yeah? Domino, are you sure? I mean, you're absolutely certain of this. Oh, no, 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 no. It was a tropius. It was a tropius. I'm sorry. My fault. Oh, dear. This is bad news. Very bad news indeed. I feel like I should have done Yusin's voice for this guy. Am I missing out on something here? I don't see what the problem is. What do you mean? You know Haunter's a ghost-type Pokemon, right? Yeah? So? Ha! Huh. Oh man, we're gonna be here for a while. Domino, ghost-types are illegal and have been for many years. Doesn't matter what type you are. Everyone is created equally. Unless you're ice, then you suck. <laughs> this is the first I've heard of it. Really? Oh, I can't be bothered to explain, so just watch this cutscene. International Pokemon Championships have been a tradition for almost 30 years. In its lifetime, thousands of competitors have come and gone. Some accomplish victory and reap its benefits. Benefits. Some go home empty-handed. Yet five years ago, we saw a competitor like no other. His name was Bryce. A cocky young soul, he traveled from a distant land in order to compete. His skill was remarkable for one of his age. The talent he demonstrated matched and surpassed that of trained professionals. He rose up the ranks with ease, sweeping on his way. Before I press A, look at who is on the left side or right side of the screen. That is Volkner. We just saw you like a couple weeks ago. Yet the day of the finals came and tragedy struck. He was defeated at the hands of the legendary dragon master, Eamon. I feel like Eamon is such a standard dragon person name. Moving on. The entire nation saw his fall from grace. And when Bryson fell, he fell hard. Vowing to have his vengeance, he left the stage cursing in anger, and a plan hatched in the mind of the young man, bruised and beaten by defeat. Bryce claimed he had been cheated out of his rightful crown. He blamed the tournament organizers, demanding a rematch with his foe. He began to gather support by targeting those still sore from their own losses. And this was how the Cult of Shadow was established. I didn't know I was playing Pokemon Insurgents. 
an organization dedicated to seeing an end to the tournament's existence. Yo, Gengar looking kind of hot being black. Doesn't matter if he's black, white, purple, it doesn't matter. I'm just making a statement. Whoops! Something something, Gengar was the Pokemon of choice. The cult grew in popularity, posing a threat to the nation as a whole. The Champions Council can... Uh, se the Champions Council sensed a potential for a revolution. Whew. They decided to put a stop to Bryce's plan by making him an offer. Bryce was to compete in the tournament for one last time. If he could succeed where he had not succeeded before by claiming the crown, then the tournament would be abolished once and for all. If he lost, Bryce would be cast into exile never to return. He accepted. He battled well. I got smacked. Okay, I thought I had a strategy. I was going to use payback. It didn't work. But his old foe proved to be too much of a challenge. Bryce's downfall was quick and brutal. He left aboard a ship destined elsewhere, never to be seen again. The Cult of Shadow largely disbanded at his leaving. However, to ensure events did not repeat themselves, the Council set a law. That all Pokemon of the Ghost variety are no longer legal for possession. All trainers in possession of these creatures must relinquish them. Or else face immediate prosecution. And to this day, no Ghost-type Pokemon has been seen in five years years. Ever since Bryce has defeated the hands of Dragon Master Amen. So now you know. Wow, that exposition really helped. And if Ghost Side Pokemon have been seen again, this may signal the cult's return. Hmm, I need to think about this. I'll talk to you later, Domino. So Cult of Shadow used a Gengar as their mascot, as their Pokemon of choice. And because of that, all guys, all ghost Pokemon. You know, it's a cool little story thing. We're going to continue on. But I feel like it's so important to point out the parallel that this can put to races in, in actual human life. And just because one per... Uh, you get what I'm going after, after. I don't feel so good all of a sudden. It just hit me really hard. Woo! Excuse me. It's not that I don't feel good. It's just like... I don't know. It's weird. Anyway. We should be good to go. I imagine we're... Ooh. I clicked on it and a Pokemon appeared. No, no, no. You, you get the idea of what I'm saying. You get the idea of what I'm saying. It's just like... It's Pokemon, so I mean, it's not like the same but just because one person or even a group of people do something doesn't mean that that entire thing as a whole is bad you get what i'm saying i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop i should go back to dancing okay let's get out of this cave That's the funniest one it could have been. Just had to happen one more time. Here we are on Route 10? Domino, long time no see. What's up, Maximilian? Come on, you know I hate being called that. This weather kind of sucks, huh? No, it, it feels pretty nice, actually. Hey, do you know that ghost types are illegal? No? Me neither. Apparently it was a big scandal a few years back. Huh. Guess that news story slipped me, slipped me by. What made you think of that? Ah, oh, nothing. It just came up in a conversation. Where are we going, by the way? 
Ironside Village, my friend. It's a small fishing community by the Northern Straits. That explains the weather then. It sure does. Storm's on the way too. Wonderful. Yeah, we'd best get inside soon. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, so that's the way to go. What's this way? I feel like this is... Uh, eh, we're, we're going to do a couple battles. We'll do a few battles just because I, I don't particularly want to cut the episodes short. Wait, I have a feeling this guy is going to have a rock type. I have a feeling this guy is going to have a rock type. So it looks like water is going to be the next focus, uh, which is cool. I guess that's cool. Water is going to be the next focus. But now we're starting to get into some story. Because it, it, it can't just be... Uh, it couldn't just be this whole tournament thing. There had to be... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? There had to be something else with the story of this game. And now we're starting to see it a little bit. So does that mean that I'm gonna get to pair up with people that are... So does that mean that there's like a... a... <coughs> does, does that mean that there's like a good dragon team that I'm going to be teaming up with? No! Yes! Yes! TK is close to evolving. Graveler? Please don't explode, Graveler. That'd just be annoying. I wish I... I forgot that cut is a grass type move. Shoot, if I'd have remembered that, I would have taught it to. If I would have known that, I would have. Wait, when I taught cut, I bet it showed it, didn't it? Hold on, let me look at something. It's right there. I'm so silly. Darn it. It's a 70 physical attack. Should I get rid of Leech Seed? Or Mega Drain? I can get rid of Mega Drain. That's fine. Now, the thing is, is I need to find the move deleter. Who's this guy? Tain's rain dance, you don't say. Alright, let me switch. Let's go to Cass. I need to get Cass to level 28. Boy, I'm glad I brought my rain coat. It's cr raining crazy hard. My ground types hate the rain. Well, you know what else? My, uh... My flying types hate your ground types. <laughs> Ooh, almost. Good. Hold on. I need to look at something. Right now. I need to look at Croconaw's level upset. I don't learn. I don't learn any water moves. Ah, oh, almost. 
I'll go ahead and super potion. I'm pretty sure I have enough money that I'll be able to, to get through this. Dark Punch. He just used a move called Dark Punch. So now we, in this episode, we've seen two. All right, before we battle these guys, this is where we're gonna save today's episode. We're gonna save right there. Today, we made it through the rest of the flooded cave. We got introduced to two new bad guys, learned about team, what? The Clan of Shadows, the, the Cult of Shadows. Um, and we talked a little bit about how everyone, everyone is equal regardless of what they look like. Um, in the next episode, we will continue on to whatever the name of the town that he just took, Ironside Village, where I'm sure another tournament is looming. I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, let me know down below by answering our question of the day, um, which was something about something. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.